All right, let's talk about bleeding the brakes on the Ducati Diavel 1260S. Doing a full flush on the brakes and the clutch, the hydraulic clutch. All right, so what do we need to know? Got two calipers in the front. And uh, this is an eight millimeter bleed valve here. So you need an eight millimeter uh, crescent or open end wrench. And there's one of these on each caliper, okay? And then you've got the clutch slave cylinder here. This is also an eight millimeter bleed valve right here, okay? It's this top nut, not the bottom one. Not, on, not this banjo nut here, it's this top one. And then the rear, the rear Brembo. Uh, that one is 11 millimeters. Why? I have no idea why. It doesn't make any sense, but it's 11 millimeters. Okay? So, <clears throat> up here, the first thing you'll wanna do is cover your bike. Get a big old towel and cover all your painted surfaces here. And then I recommend a microfiber and just wrapping a microfiber around this whole area here and cover up everything so that you can, you know, take this cap off here. Um, I believe these are 2.5 or three millimeter Allen heads. And uh, you'll want to lift this off and just re be really careful not to uh, spill any brake fluid anywhere because it's corrosive and it will destroy plastic and paint. Um, <clears throat> so what tools do you need? These are the wrenches. You've got your eight millimeter and your 11 millimeter, okay? Um, if you buy, you know, a wrench set, uh, these don't come with eights. So eight is something that you'll get at the drawer at the Lowe's or the Home Depot. I, I recommend Craftsman Tools. Um, so those would be sold at Lowe's or Sears. And you'll just pick up a couple of loose wrenches out of those little drawers that they have. Um, <clears throat> and then a pneumatic bleeder. Okay? Why pneumatic? Well, first, I bought the Mighty Vac, right? Handheld. Great tool. It's great to have around. I mean, I use it for, you know, pumping fluid out occasionally when I don't want to bust out the big, big guns. But... If you try to bleed brakes, your any brakes with this thing, man, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, okay? You're going to spend hours, hours pumping, 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 pumping. It just doesn't, just doesn't work very well, okay, to bleed brakes. So, um, got this on Amazon, $27. Ares Vacuum Fluid Bleeder, okay? It's one liter. This is what it looks like. Um, you've got the uh, attachment, okay? This pushes right onto that bleeder valve I was just showing you. You just shove that on there. It creates an airtight seal. And you hook up your air compressor and you just pull the trigger, okay? It blows air across a diaphragm in here. And that diaphragm creates a vacuum, which sucks, you know, pretty damn good on here. Uh, you can bleed your brakes with this thing. I, I did my Honda Odyssey full uh, bleed in under an hour with this. I just took one, I jacked up one wheel at a time and did one wheel at a time in the order in which, you know, it says to do it. And I did it in under an hour with that guy. You try to do it by hand, you're looking at three, four hours, maybe more. Um, so what are you going to do? Brake fluid. Dot four, don't recommend dot five. Go with dot four. Um, can you use, dot four is a standard, okay? So it doesn't matter if on the bottle it says motorcycle or car or race car, dot four is dot four, okay? Um, so, you know, when you're doing a flush, you want to use something cheap, right? So this is, you know, BMW dot four. This is stuff I got the O'Reilly Auto Parts store. And you just use this because you're going to throw it away. You're just pulling it through the system. You're going to throw it away, right? Um, so after you bleed the reservoirs down till they're close to empty, that's when you want to come back and top it off with some good stuff, right? Um, you can get some Motul. Um, this is RBF 660.4, uh, which is really good stuff. Um, and this is what I use to, to run in the system. And then, you know, and you're like, well, I don't have an air compressor. Definitely get an air compressor, okay? You know, this I picked up at the Home Depot. You can get one of these at Lowe's or Home Depot. Six gallons. It's really designed for nail guns. 
Um, but I think it was like $79 or maybe $99. And they do price matching. So if you find it online for cheaper, they'll price match. Um, very good investment to own one of these. You can use it to fill up the tires on your motorcycle. Um, you can use it to blast dirt and corrosion out of cracks and crevices. When you wash your motorcycle, you can use that thing to blast water out of all the grooves and crevices. Um, you know, not to mention that you can use it to bleed your bleed your brakes and lightning, you know, lightning fast. Um, and if you do buy an air compressor and you want to fill up your tires and you want to do it well, um, I recommend this Milton digital um, inflator here, okay, and this digital tire, tire inflator. This thing right here, it just, it goes right onto the valve and it holds onto the valve. It's got a clamp right here, so it, it sticks right on there. And you can use this to fill. Uh, if you do a half push on the lever, like just a half push, it'll actually release air and a full push fills with air, okay? So this thing is fantastic. I use that all the time. So get your compressor and uh, get set up there. So what do you want to do? Um, so, you know, you take this off. Um, one thing that, that I do is I, you know, I take the bleeder and I just pop this guy, the rubber, I pop this rubber piece off and then I just take the hose and I stick it into the reservoir and I suck all the fluid out of the reservoir. Then I fill it up with this stuff or this or whatever, something, some cheap dot for it, right? Suck it all through. Then once, once you filled it up with clean fluid, okay, this is the clutch, right? Then you come down to the clutch, you put your fitting on here, you put your wrench on here, you loosen this, and then you just pull the trigger. And you suck a vacuum on that until almost all the fluid has come through here. If you want, you can pull the clutch lever a few times, go ahead and pull it a few times. But until this is close to empty, then you can fill it up again if you want to and, and, and flush it through again. Um, once you've done that once or twice, then you can just seal this thing off, wipe it down real good so that there's no fluid on here, and put your dust cap back on, okay? And when you torque this thing down, you know, firm, but not, you know, not ridiculous, right? Just make it tight enough, right? But don't go, don't go crazy on it, because you'll strip it out. Um, and then you can top up, top your reservoir off, just below, just slightly below the max line with the bike in a vertical position. Um, and you top that guy off with the good stuff, like the Motul RBF 660. And then when you put this guy back on, you know, just make sure it's clean. Um, there's a rubber um, seal on the backside of this and you wanna dry that, right? You use your air compressor and some paper, some good shop towels or microfibers, get all the brake fluid and the water off of it because water does build up on the, uh, top, on the top side. And then when you go and you put in your little, uh, you know, your little retention screws back in, Put a little tiny bit of grease on the back side of those retention screws, okay? Just on the back side of the head or right into the, the countersunk uh, opening. Just a little bit of grease. And I use um, caliper grease for that. Synthetic caliper, I use synthetic caliper grease, okay? Um, this is pretty good stuff. Um, use that on your caliper pins and uh, your springs and things when you're doing your brakes, but that's gonna allow you to tighten these things down nicely and firmly without straining the head or straining this thing or messing up the anodization or the paint, right? And you'll do the same thing over here. And so <clears throat> on this side, you've got the rear brake reservoir. You undo the screws, take the cap off, suck all the bad fluid out of this reservoir, right? You just tick, stick the hose in and suck it all out. And then top this thing off again, fill this up, leave the cap off. And then you'll come back down to that, you know, bleeder valve, which is on the other side here. You'll hook up to the bleeder valve. You'll run your hose, you know, over to here. So you can stand here and you can just, you know, pump this a few times, right? Pump this guy a few times. Keep your eye on the fluid level. Suck, suck, suck. Suck it all out. Um, once you've kind of, you know, brought this down here to a lower level, then go around to the other side, you know, tighten, tighten off the nut fill this thing back up, do it again. It's pretty easy. Um, so that's, you know, that's bleeding, right? It's not too difficult. And again, you know, protect your surfaces, you know, put microfibers down or paper towels down everywhere so that you don't get fluid everywhere. Um, that's it.